Hi good evening. My name is Victoria, one of the nurses working here. How may I address you? Hi, my name is John. Hi John. May I know what brings you here today? My son got injured with a rusty nail. Oh oh, I'm really sorry to hear that. Have you done the first deed? I just pulled out the nail from his hand. All right. May I have his name and age for the record please? Yes. His name is Tom, he is just four years old. Thank you. Well, let me have a look at his wound. Meanwhile, could you please explain to me what has happened actually? The accident happened about 25 minutes ago at the local park. Tom put his hand through a rusty nail, when he picked up a plank of wood to play with. It was me who removed his hand from the nail. Thank you John for your briefing. From my examination, Tom's hand should be cleaned properly and dress the wound, also he will need a tetanus injection. Well nurse, I don't want my son to receive the tetanus injection now. Because it's too stressful. John. I can understand what is on your mind now, but for better knowledge, may I know whether your son got a childhood vaccination? No I didn't receive it. Actually I forgot to bring him for his childhood vaccination. I am really sorry John. Your son needs the injection immediately as the child did not receive the vaccination as part of the childhood vaccination program. He is unprotected from tetanus also on examining the injury it seems to be a deep wound, hence the chance of foreign bodies being present inside the wound is high. An immediate vaccination is very necessary. Oh, oh. Really? Okay nurse I would like to have my wife to come here after work to support me. John, don't get nervous. We are here to care for your son and to support you as well. Please listen to my words. Yes nurse, but... John. Please listen to me. I'm not panicking you. What I am trying to convey to you, is the seriousness of having the vaccination. Okay. All right. Now listen to me carefully. Let me explain to you, so that you will understand the seriousness of the condition. Okay. Tetanus bacteria usually enter the body through a dirty puncture wound cut scrape or some other break in skin. Once inside the skin they multiply and produce a toxin or poison that affects the body's nerves. This toxin causes severe muscle spasms cramps and seizures spasms in the jaw muscles produce locked jaw. Spasms also occur in muscles of the throat chest abdomen and extremities. If you don't receive proper treatment the toxins effect on respiratory muscles can interfere with breathing. If this happens it may even lead to death due to suffocation, a tetanus infection may develop after almost any type of skin injury major or minor. Did you get me John? Oh God. I haven't heard of these many complications. I understand completely about a need for injection now. Great. But don't worry. Your son is in our safe hands, nothing will happen wrong. Immediate vaccination is must. I reassure you that your son will be perfectly alright. Thank you nurse. I agree with you. Thank you John for your cooperation and understanding. Shall I proceed taking his vaccination? Okay alright. Vaccination is done successfully. John in rare cases some side effects are being spotted after having tetanus vaccination. Nothing to worry about side effects include mild fever, joint pain, muscle aches, nausea, tiredness or pain, itching, swelling, redness at the injection site may occur. If any of these effects persist or worsen consult the doctor. Okay nurse. I wish him a speedy recovery, thank you. Nurse you are welcome. <laughs>